Egypt governs the largest and most powerful military in the Arab world. That distinction extends to its air defense forces, which are undergoing one of the region's most extensive modernization efforts. Layered with long, medium, and short-range systems from Russia, China, Germany, and the US, Egypt's defenses now cover everything from ballistic missiles to drones. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at Egypt's upgraded air defense network, its weapons, capabilities, deployment strategy, and what it means for regional balance. Let's dive in. Egypt's air defense forces consist of roughly 80,000 active personnel, with about 70,000 in reserve, responsible for protecting the country's crucial airspace around the Suez Canal, Sinai, and major population centers. Established in 1968, the force has expanded from older Soviet-era guns and radar units to modern automated missile batteries, integrating multiple systems for layered defense. In recent years, Egypt has stocked up on long-range S-300VM systems, acquiring four battalions since 2015. With an effective interception range of up to 200 kilometers and a ceiling of 30 kilometers, these batteries can counter aircraft, UAVs, crews, and ballistic missiles. Each mobile battery is fully ready to operate remotely, with relatively advanced phased array radars and autonomous launchers. To augment this, Egypt acquired China's HQ-9B long-range SAM system, complementing the Russian missiles, reportedly deploying four batteries equipped with HT-233 3D radars, capable of 360-degree detection and engaging stealthy and ballistic threats at ranges up to 300 kilometers. This creates overlapping kill zones. S-300VM and HQ-9B systems can defend strategic assets and counter aerial threats from multiple origins. At the medium-range level, Egypt operates seven batteries of the German Iris-T SLM systems, ten units of the SLX, and six SLS units, in addition to Russian Buck M2 systems. The Buck M2, introduced in 2013, can intercept cruise missiles, helicopters, and UAVs up to 45 kilometers away, using multi-target tracking and high-speed missiles capable of reaching Mach 3 speeds. Egypt's short-range defenses rely on the Russian Tor M2, US-built Avenger systems, and French Crotal NG batteries. These point defense systems fill gaps left by longer-range missiles, particularly against fast aircraft and swarm drones. Finally, Egypt maintains a vast array of legacy systems, including Hawk, Pechora 2M, Kub, Chaparral, and Strela, many upgraded with modern radars and integrated into a centralized air defense C2 network. The backbone of this integrated system is a nationwide command and control network utilizing radars like the American-made ANTPS-78, Thales GM-400, and the Russian Protivnik GE for early warning, all connected via secure fiber optics and automated links. These upgrades aren't just acquisitions. They reflect a broader shift in Egyptian doctrine toward layered, networked air defense. The goal is to protect vital economic corridors like the Suez Canal and discourage potential threats from regional actors. Egypt's mix of systems from multiple countries allows it flexibility in procurement and operations, reducing reliance on any single supplier. First, the S-300VM and HQ-9B acquisitions alone dramatically extend Egypt's defensive reach, placing lower-level missile systems within a protected bubble. That offers both ballistic missile interception and area denial. The combination secures key infrastructure and demonstrates Egypt's vision for integrated deterrence. Second, the investment brings strategic weight. Ranking 15th globally in military capability, Egypt remains the highest-ranked military force in the Arab world and among the top in the broader Middle East region. Its upgraded air defense now compares with other major powers like Turkey and Israel, enhancing deterrence and signaling to both neighbors and international partners. Third, this modernization comes amid top-heavy threats. 
nearby conflicts in Libya, Syria, and at the Israel-Gaza border. Egypt's layered defenses are designed to counter drones, cruise missiles, and even ballistic threats, while supporting regional stability and homeland defense. Finally, Egypt's mixed supplier approach, blending Russian, Chinese, German, and American systems, reflects its strategic autonomy. By sourcing from diverse partners, Egypt remains flexible and less vulnerable to political pressure or sanctions, ensuring consistent supply and maintenance. So, what do you think? Is this layered system the right path for Egypt, or should it follow countries like Saudi Arabia and Turkey in building a domestic defense industry? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analysis.